I'm Mike Steven, and welcome to another installment of This is Chicago Jazz, here on ChicagoJazz.com. So here we are right now in Piano Forte with the president of Piano Forte and the Piano Forte Foundation, Thomas Souls. Thomas, we're sitting here in this magnificent room here at Piano Forte in the Fine Arts Building on Michigan Avenue. Tell us a little bit about this room because this building just has loads of history in it and you can feel it when you walk in here. Well, maybe we should start with the building then. The building was a factory originally for Studebaker and they made uh, horse-drawn carriages and rail cars in this building. And Studebaker thought they were real smart with a concept whereby they bring the materials to the top floor and then they build the carriages and they have the showroom at the bottom. Sounds cool, but it didn't work so they moved out very shortly after they, they finished, the, they moved in. And uh, a couple of well-intentioned uh, uh, citizens came together and said, uh, here's this building in the middle of town uh, and we think we need a fine arts building. So they reconfigured the building, made a bunch of studios out of it, and reopened in 1898. Well, this, this room that we're in right now um, is essentially a theater. I mean, we're sitting on a stage, and this makes uh, a great room for what you do here at Piano Forte. You have these incredible pianos on the stage, and it's a very intimate setting, and I suppose that really contributes to the atmosphere of what you do. Well, it, it actually uh, goes right to the core of why I'm doing it, and that is that uh, I feel that we're going in a, in a wrong direction in many ways with uh, concerts that are produced for big names in big halls, because in the end, I sit there in that big hall and I think, well, wouldn't I be, be, be better off at home listening to the CD where I can really hear everything that's going on? And so this kind of salon setting uh, with the excellent acoustics and with the proximity to the, the player, uh, I think has a completely different emotional impact on the listener. Uh, and that's really what this is all about. It's trying to, to rebuild that connection between the performer and, and the listener uh, so that they can not only listen to each other very well, but they can also meet you know, and talk afterwards over a glass of wine. Uh, and uh, uh, but particularly, it's the listening experience, which I think is is totally unique. The Piano Forte Foundation. Uh, what is it that this group does off of what you just said about br bringing the, the intimacy back to uh, listening to the piano uh, and and those who perform on the piano? Uh, what is your organization striving to do? We have a tagline, which is uh, pianoforte, get personal with music. Uh, but uh, uh, no, the, the Pianoforte Foundation is a nonprofit organization that, uh, whose, whose mission is to, uh, um, in very general terms, um, re-energize that, that connection or that dialogue between artist and, uh, and listener uh, in the area of piano music. So, and maybe a may, more uh, down-to-earth way of saying it is, is that we try to uh, bring back a, uh, a tradition of, of salon concerts uh, where the intimate setting uh, is, is the critical feature. So the Piano Forte organization um, provides intimate concerts for people to come and enjoy, that bringing back, as what you've been saying, bringing back that, that relationship, or re-establishing that relationship between performer and the audience. Correct, and uh, because our space is small and only holds 50 to 60 seats, we compensate. And the way we compensate is we produce many concerts, and we're currently at 60 a year. Wow. Uh, so uh, that is how we get maybe about 2,000 people circulating through here in a year is by the multitude of concerts. And uh, it's a combination of, of classical piano and chamber music and jazz piano. Uh, we're actually in the midst of, 
of changing that balance a bit towards more jazz than we've done so far. How has the response been from those who have come through here, sat in those seats, and taken in a show? Well, uh, I think the emotional impact is visible on, on people's faces. Uh, and, and time and time again, I've, I've had people say, well, we, we started uh, you know, at, a, at a $10 ticket, and uh, we're now at uh, 25 uh, which is a reflection of the quality because we're still filling our, our small space. Uh, but time and time again, people come afterwards and say, you could have charged $100, and I wouldn't have wanted to miss that. So. Well, don't get any ideas. Don't be charging a hundred dollars for people to come in here. <laughs> no, no, that's keep that's, it affordable. Let all of the masses come in here and enjoy the. the it the music. actually would be very much against our our mm -hmm. uh, concept to, to charge a lot. For more information on Piano Forte, upcoming concerts, or to become a member, log on to pianofortefoundation.org or call three one two two nine one zero two nine one. For This is Chicago Jazz, I'm Mike Steven.